morning. It's a pleasure to be here today with the Professor Angel Perez Ruzafa from the University of Murcia, who came here in Lecce to visit the LifeWatch Service Center and to take part at the conference about recognition and protection of the sea and marine uh, management. We would like to focus our attention on lagoons and to deeply understand which is the main value, role and importance of Mediterranean lagoons as ecosystems. Mediterranean coastal lagoons are very important for the conservation of the biodiversity in general because, okay, they are more than 400 in the Mediterranean and they uh, offer us uh, a lot of uh, good and service, uh, ecosystem services. The more uh, evident is uh, the fisheries. Uh, coastal lagoons are the, the, the most uh, productive uh, ecosystems in the sea. And uh, the fisheries in coastal lagoons are very special, not only because of the, the quantity, but also the quality of the products. But uh, further than fisheries, they offer a lot of other services. Uh, some of them have aquaculture too, but uh, many others uh, give us services retaining pollutants, uh, retaining carbon, uh, that uh, from the climatic uh, change is very important. And some lagoons like the Mar Menor also offer, uh, uh, until now, uh, good water quality that is good for bath, swimming, uh, nautical sports, uh, health uh, baths and so on. So coastal lagoons are really very important and they are, are a reservoir of biodiversity that it is also very important because each lagoon select genetic populations that are adapted to the climate change because most of them have changes in temperature, salinity, that are the condition that the climate change is, is coming to us. So the, the, this selection, this genetic selection of population is a, a reservoir that is going to be very important to recover the populations after the climate change consequence. Regarding the climate change, the anthropogenic pressure, the biodiversity loss and all the ecological issues that uh, derived from this, which are the, the strategies and the challenges that uh, research must face in order to maintain or preserve these ecosystems? This is an important question because uh, to, to manage adequately an ecosystem you need to know how it functions, how it works. And uh, coastal lagoons uh, had a high uniformity in their functioning, have also a lot of particularities. There are, uh, there are lagoons with low salinity, lagoons that are hyperaline, lagoons like Aquatina that are very small, lagoons like the Mar Menor or the Curonian in the Baltic that are very big or, or Venice. So it is very important just to know the process to know the ecological functioning of the lagoons, to can propose management action adequate to each lagoon depending on the pressure, because all the lagoons, because they offer a lot of service, suffer a lot of human pressures, and it's very important that the, the management actions being well thinked, taking into account the functioning of each lagoon and how they work. Which strategies do you think can be feasible for the conservation and eventual restoration of this ecosystem? The, the, best, the best restoration measure is just to recover the integrity of the system because many lagoons have very complex uh, homeostatic and regulatory mechanisms that uh, permits just to face most of the uh, human, human impacts. But uh, to recover the integrity of a lagoon we need to decrease the pressure. To decrease the pressures is very important also uh, just a, a good land planning, uh, agreement between stakeholders, agreement with administration involved in the, in the management of the lagoon and a good scientific knowledge. Because in some cases you must act on the inlets. In other cases, act on the inlets is a, is a problem. You must have to preserve the, the, the restriction in the communication between the lagoon and the sea to maintain its uh, heterogeneity and the, the, the homeostatic capabilities of the lagoon. So it is very important just to know well how the lagoons function. And in this sense, it's very interesting a network of research on lagoons. Because with this network you can compare database, compare the function of different lagoons, extract regularities, apply singularities, everything is, uh, is important if we want to uh, preserve this ecosystem. Because if everybody uh, goes with only in focus their own interest, 
the lagoons are going to be lost in very, very quick, uh, very short space of time. And in this sense, according also to your uh, previous experience on the coastal lagoon of Mar Menor, which are, in your opinion, the best strategies or the future programs or plans that you would like to be implemented? That is a good question, that is a good question, because if the Mar Menor is a good example or very singular lagoon that is at the same time very productive with very high water quality and a high biodiversity, that became degraded because uh, of the uh, absence of management actions, abs absence of real preservation. And you see, the lagoon has so good uh, homeostatic mechanisms that have permitted uh, them to minimize the impacts during more than 50 years. However, the fault of agreement at the political level and the, 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 the social uh, confusion regarding the interests of the lagoon makes it very difficult to implement the, the management, adequate management measure. And it could be possible. The diagnostic is, is done. Uh, the lagoon and the process are very well uh, uh, known. So the management actions are clear. It is very important in the case of the Mar Menor that the phreatic level became low because it's no the, the inputs of water with nutrients are going to be permanent. And if we want to, to have an ecosystem in which uh, some primary uh, services like agriculture or fisheries became compatible with a good quality tourism based in nature and the integrity of the ecosystem that is the more important for, for the function and also the, of the other uses, we need uh, an agreement and uh, very clear ideas about the management strategies and the one infrastructure that for regulate the waters, to extract the water, to depurate it, to, to extract the salt, extract the nutrients, uh, use the, and reuse the water for uh, other uses. Uh, it is very important, an agreement and an infrastructure just having uh, clear how the ecosystem works. So which is the role uh, that LifeWatch can play in the management of lagoons? Oh, it is a, a very important role because LifeWatch is a network of preservation of, and uh, lagoons need a network of uh, research that uh, permits to share databases, discuss uh, the process, analyze the data to, to extract con conclusion and LifeWatch could be just the perfect platform to make it possible. So it will be very interesting that uh, LifeWatch leads some kind of uh, interaction between all the researchers that are working in lagoons. Okay, thank you so much.